everybody welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is Bailey and today we are at Hollywood Studios today we're doing a solo day we are only doing a half day it's about 9 30 right now and I have to leave the park around 3 um, I have to be at the airport unfortunately at 4 30 um there's Christmas the decorations up if Gertie's not wearing her Santa hat I'm gonna cry order pickup for uh, a Ronto wrap um, for I think I have like 25 30 more minutes I was thinking about getting in line for a ride but I really need some coffee I'm really tired this is like day four go 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 so I'm just gonna go to Joffrey's by Tower and hopefully the line's not long I just got an iced white mocha gingerbread latte. I don't know how long they've had their seasonal menu out, but it is so good. I always get my coffee with almond milk because I am lactose intolerant, but they did say the white mocha did have dairy in it. So if you guys are interested in it and you can't have dairy, just be mindful of that. But we are on our way to Galaxy's Edge to go get some breakfast. I'm gonna go this way to see if Gertie is wearing her Santa hat. She's not wearing her Santa hat. That's so upsetting, but it's okay, she's so cute. But they have all the ornaments and stuff in the water, that's really cool. We're about to go into Galaxy's Edge and they are working on something. I have no idea what this is, but I'm sad because it's destroying the view for Muppet Vision. Guys, there's the Mandalorian. <laughs> Okay, I just picked up my breakfast. I got the uh, breakfast pronto wrap. I'll put the description and whatnot right here. I've never had one of these before, but I've heard very good things, especially about the breakfast one. Um, I got the gluten-free. I didn't get it dairy-free because, um, like I said before, if I have a little bit, I'm okay. Um, but it did come with a lot of cheese, so I am gonna take a little bit off because that is um, pushing it. Also, like in the seating area, I've never been over here. I've never eaten in Galaxy's Edge, so it's a new experience for me today. Here it is. The worst thing about gluten-free wraps is that it falls apart so easily. Mm. This is so good. Wow. This is the best combo. So I ended up getting Genie Plus. I did not have any intentions on getting Genie Plus today, but it is pretty busy. So I need to wait here for my first Lightning Lane. I have about 20 minutes. Um, I got Toy Story Mania. That is my favorite ride here. I am just gonna sit here for a little bit, drink my coffee. I like half of it. And then I need to go fill up my water bottle. I just walk around, hang out in Toy Story Land a little bit. I hope I get a lightning lane for Slinky Dog Dash. I haven't done Slinky Dog in forever and I absolutely love that ride. I think it's so much fun. Hopefully I get to do just a couple rides and a couple shows. I really want to go see the Frozen Sing Along as well today because um, I've never done it. So that's the goal today. We are entering my favorite land, the hottest land on planet Earth. Toy Story Land. I'm very early for my lightning lane. I did modify it 10 minutes earlier, but that's all I could do. I always need to come say hi to my man Buzz. Hey Buzz. How you doing? Oh, now he's talking. Your mission? Explore and have fun. Oh, I wish Slinky Dog would slow down. He's making me dizzy. We got the green army man. My next lightning lane. Oh, hey, Buzz. Uh, I don't know. I'll get this one just in case. Bye. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! That's what I'm talking about. 
what I'm talking about, bud. You think we can do better? I think we can. So let's try it one more time. Give me a big old yee-haw! Anyway, thanks so much for joining us at Toy Story Mania. The beauty about modifying Lightning Lanes is that I literally just got one for 245 to 345. Now I bumped it up to 145 to 245, so hopefully I can squeeze in a couple more rides in between them. Because I do have to leave around 3 o'clock ish. So hopefully we can still modify this eventually, but this is still good. Watch those pies. This is our, huh? In Jesse's trading post, they have some of the new Vera Bradley. Oh, I need it, cause that's really cute. It was right in center. Hmm. This is why you always check, cause I have it even earlier now. The things you get excited about at Disney. Wow. Man, oh man. Okay, so now we're going out 125. We pulled it back two hours. Incredible, because I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can today. I have two hours until my next lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So I think the plan is to go look through some shops. I didn't really do a lot of shopping this trip, which is <laughs> kind of good, but it feels wrong. So I'm gonna see if there's anything I absolutely need. This is a Muppet Lover's Dream Kermit on full display. I've been eyeballing these cups, but I have not seen this one. This is really cool. I really like that. Same with this one. I think this one's really cute and very simple. This one is so cute, but it's so heavy. Okay, I have not seen anything new. There is a box of pins that I've been wanting to open, but there's a whole bunch of people around the pin wall, so I didn't grab them yet. And there's also like a cup that I'm kind of debating, but I'd rather not carry it around right now. So I might hit some shops like right before I leave. Um, but I'm still gonna go down the ones off of Sunset. Just in case, you never know. Look how cute all the little Christmas decorations are in here. I love it. I have not seen this, but this one's really cute. Aw, this is so precious. I will say I have truly been eyeballing this. I think the colors are so pretty. Same with this shirt. I think this shirt is so cute and so pretty. It's just like the same on the back. Okay, I just saw this and it's part of the 2024 merch. But look, it has Buzz, Figment, Dumbo, Orange Bird, Mickey. This is like three of my favorites. I'm very hopeful for 2024 merch now. I caved. I bought the fanny pack mystery pins. I traded for one and I got, um, who did I get? Oh, I got Cogsworth. And I was not honestly a fan of these at first, but now I'm obsessed with them. I'm really hoping to get Spin, Dumbo, and Pegasus. Those are the top three that I want. Bags inside of a bag. <gasps> I got Miko. I love Miko. He's so cute. Okay, we're off to a good start. <gasps> Bambi. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Is this? Oh, I don't really care for this one, but it's kind of cute. Chicken Little. Okay, the last one. Stitch. That was my first time ever doing it. I don't know if I said that, but that was so cute. I really wish I've done it sooner, but I just never had time slash, I just never did it. But I thought I had time to go do Muppet Vision, but my lightning lane is in 15 minutes, and in four minutes, I can book another one. So hopefully I can do Slinky. 
but it's not looking that promising. Okay, so I just booked Star Tours for 110, which would be literally right after Mickey and Minnie's. But I'm gonna keep on seeing if I can somehow modify that to something else. Because do I want to spend a lightning lane on Star Tours? Absolutely not. But that's pretty much the only thing that I can do. Because I leave in two hours. <laughs> lucky when I was waiting for a runway railway I got a lightning lane for slinky like literally right after so I'm on my way there I'm literally right there and I can scan in by the time I get there I can scan in but how lucky the earliest time was like five o'clock which would be like when I'm literally at the airport um, but I got so lucky As I was saying, my camera's about to die, it died. I got a lightning lane for Star Tours, um, and that's for right now, but I'm going to make a stop and get my favorite snack. Oh, here's Ray. There she is. I just got my favorite snack, and the Mandalorian is out again. That's insane, I've literally never seen him, and I've seen him twice in one day. Interesting. But I got the Outpost Mix at I can never remember the name. I've heard mixed reviews. Honestly, I've heard a lot of people not liking this, but I absolutely love this popcorn. I get it every single time I'm here. So I'm walking to Star Tours to hop on that real quick. And then I think I'm ending the trip with the best show on property, including Fantasmic. Obviously I'm talking about the Vision 3D. Oh my gosh. We got Kylo Ren and Poe. I don't know what planet we went on. We did the one with the water. Um, it wasn't as jerky as it usually is, but every single time I get on that ride, I always I instantly remember how sick it makes me. So now I may or may not be ending with Muppet Vision 3D. I do have a lightning lane for Aliens Rolling Saucers, but I don't know if I physically can do that after Star Wars. And I'd much rather do Muppet Vision 3D than Alien Toy and Saucers. Also, my Star Tours group was so much fun. There were so many kids on it and they were so excited, which made it like 10 times more fun just to experience with people who were just so happy to be there.
always a 10 out of 10 experience for me, especially now that they just upgraded their seats. The old ones were so disgusting, so that was a fun surprise. Unfortunately, we cannot make our Alias Willing Saucer lightning lane. So that unfortunately wraps up our solo day, but I had such a blast today. I was not expecting today to be this good. I had so many fun core memories and I got to do a lot of fun new things. And I'm so happy I got to take you guys along today. So thank you guys so much for following along my solo day and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye y'all.